Hi everyone, I am Arun Julkar. Today we talk about nominal and force of interest. Force of interest refers to nominal rate of interest compounded in finite number of times per time period. In case nominal rate compounded continuously, effective rate equals to e raised to the power r minus 1, where RE stand for effective rate of interest and R is rate of interest compounded continuously. To derive this formula, we use the relationship between nominal and effective rate of interest. That is, RE equals to 1 plus I whole raised to the power M minus 1, where I equals to R upon M and M is number of times interest compounded in a year. If R compounded semi-annually, then M is 2. If R compounded quarterly, then M is 4. If R compounded monthly, M is 12. Since here, nominal rate of interest compounded continuously, so M tends to infinite. Now taking limit, M tends to infinite both sides. And RE equals to limit M tends to infinite 1 plus R upon m whole raised to the power m minus 1 and power divide by r and multiply by r. We know that limit m tends to infinite 1 plus r upon m whole raised to the power m by r equals to e. Therefore, effective rate of interest equals to e raised to the power r minus 1. How to calculate e raised to the power m using simple calculator. First write point triple zero two double four one seven two zero six in your calculator. Multiply by m. Then plus one. Press multiply and equal twelve times. This implies multiply equal one, multiply and equal two, multiply and equal three, and so on twelve times. And how to calculate e raised to the power minus m using simple calculator? First write point triple zero two double four one seven two zero six in your calculator. Multiply by m. Then plus one. Press multiply and equal twelve times. This implies multiply equal one, multiply and equal two, multiply and equal three, and so on twelve times. In last, press divide and equal. It will give you the value of e to the power minus m. First example, here we want to find out effective rate equivalent to nominal rate of interest 7% compounded continuously. In this example, we want to calculate Re, which is effective rate of interest, and R is given 7%. This implies R is 0.07. We know that the formula of effective rate of interest is e raised to the power r minus 1. By putting the value of r in the formula, we will get re equals to e raised to the power 0 0.07 minus 1. e raised to the power 0 0.07 equals to 1.07251. After calculation, re equals to 0 0.07251. This implies effective rate of interest is 7. How to calculate log x using simple calculator? Step 1. Write x in your calculator. Then press root 19 times and minus 1 out of it. Previous result multiply by 227698 and you will get value of log x. And how to calculate adding log x using simple calculator? Step 1. Write x in your calculator. Then divide by 227698. Then plus 1 in the result. And in last, press multiply and equal 19 times. Multiply equal 1, multiply equal 2, multiply equal 3 and so on 19 times. In this example, we want to find out interest rate compounded continuously which is equivalent to the effective rate of interest 
In this example, effective rate is given 9%. This implies RE is 0.09 and we want to calculate R. We know that the formula of effective rate of interest is E raised to the power R minus 1. By putting the value of effective rate of interest in the formula, we will get 0.09 equals to E raised to the power R minus 1. So, E raised to the power R equals to 1.09. To calculate R, now we will use log method. Taking log both sides and we will get log 1.09 equals to log E raised to the power R. Log 1.09 equals to 0 0.03743 and log e raised to the power r is r log e. We know the value of log e, it is 0.4343. After calculation, we get the value of r 0 0.08617. This implies 8.62%.